Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you how to use Mentimeter to interact with your students while teaching online. So, let's get started. First of all, open Google Chrome, type Mentimeter.com. From here, you can sign up and fill up the details to create a new account. I am going to log in. Let us start with new presentation. I am going to name it Health Insurance. So now Mentimeter gives you an option for different types of question. You can have multiple choice question, word cloud, open ended question, scales, ranking, Q&A. It depends on the type of your question. Let us follow multiple choice question. So we are going to write a question here. Why do we need health insurance? You can add the options for your question to fight lifestyle. Next option to safeguard your family. Third option to deal with medical inflation. You can add another option here by just clicking it all of the above. So our question is ready. You can get the answer in bar, donut, pie and dots. It depends on you how you want the result to be seen. I will click here to show correct answer and let participant choose multiple options. That is all of the above. And now our question is ready. You can just share this code with your student or just go on the share button and copy the code and give to your students or just copy the link and paste in your Google Meet, Zoom etc. And now we are going to see as a student view. So I'm going to open another account as a student. Same process, just write mentimeter.com, paste the code given by your teacher and then student can select the right answer that is all of the above and then submit. Now let us see as a teacher view. So the student has selected the answer that is all of the above and it is seen in the result. Now let us see from another student's view. Now this student is going to select another answer that is safeguard your family and submit. Again, let's see from teacher's point of view and then you can see one child has selected to safeguard your family and the other child has selected all of the above. Now, let us create another presentation with different options. So, new presentation. This time, we are going to create a word cloud. So, just click on word cloud and here you can add your question that is what are the different types of insurance. You can allow the audience to submit more answers and then let participants submit multiple times. So I am going to open student. Here the students can write different types of insurance whatever they knew. So I am going to write the answer life insurance, health insurance, travel insurance, mobile insurance, motor insurance and then submit. So let us see as a teacher's view. So you can see here the answers have been displayed whatever the child has written. Now same thing what we are going to do is we are going to use a different account. The child can write different types of insurance insurance and then the student will submit the answer. So here you can see property insurance and life insurance is growing bigger. So why does this happen? When a child is writing same answer multiple times it grows bigger and bigger. 